Hi, welcome to the first review by The Movie Geek. I'm going to see a double bill of Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice. And I am looking forward to it. I loved Man of Steel. I can remember the moment in the cinema when I fell in love with that version of Superman. The moment in Man of Steel which I loved was his first flight. The music, the footage, everything. The, the fact that he failed and went through the mountain was absolutely brilliant. I, I was so immersed in that scene, I didn't want it to end. And I think that is why I love it so much. And I, I understand the criticism. I understand the destruction. There is a lot of it. I understand that people criticise the uh, portrayal of Superman. Even. I understand where the criticism comes from. The breakneck scene. But you see where the filmmakers were going with it. The destruction. It is. They are universe building. It has to be big. Clark Kent, he's come from nowhere. He's been an outcast all his life. This super powered being has come forth and there's others and they're gonna fight. There is going to be ramifications. There is gonna be destruction. And it, it was perfectly shown. That is what a super fight, <laughs> a super fight is like. That would be what it would be like if it was real. Now, I, I admit, it went on for a long time. I didn't get bored, but I can see where the fatigue came from. You know, you've seen a building fall, you've seen a building fall. But that's what we're gonna get. You're gonna have buildings crumble, you're gonna have the dust, you're gonna have people covered. And I think we're gonna see that in Batman vs Superman tonight, because we're getting that fight again, which means the fight, if you thought the fight was long before, you have the fight continuing in a second film. You're going to have it from a different point of view. You're going to have it from Bruce Wayne's point of view. I'm looking forward to it. I want to see that world again. And I hope that they continue it. The destruction, in my opinion, was valid. And it was done well. I don't think he was Superman. He wasn't Superman, but he was. And I'll explain that in a minute. The breakneck scene. Another criticism. Superman doesn't kill. I suppose it ties in with what I said before. He is not Superman. He becomes Superman when he breaks Zod's neck. Zod gives him an ultimatum. He says, I won't stop killing these humans, and if you love them, you can mourn for them. It's a fight to the death. Zod isn't going to give up, and Clark can't give up because there's too many people that need him to win. So Clark has to break his neck. But I believe Zod is also, I, I think he's helping Clark. If you see at the beginning of the film where Zod is on trial, he shouts at the council, you won't kill us yourselves, you won't sully your hands. Yeah, they won't. Why won't they do that? because they, they, they haven't learned. Their, their, their whole planet is destroyed. They haven't heeded any warnings from jor -El. And Zod can see this. Zod is smart. He, like he says, he is trying to secure Krypton's future. But the council won't heed the warnings. He says they won't kill him because they haven't learned and they don't learn and Zod is able to live and go to Earth. So Zod gives Clark the ultimatum and Clark has a choice. He either kills Zod or he doesn't. If he doesn't, Zod will kill all the humans. He has the power to do it. He almost did it. He destroyed half of Metropolis. But 
clock knows this. So he breaks his neck. Yeah, it is shocking. It, he, Superman doesn't kill, but at the moment, he breaks Zod's neck. He becomes Superman. And in Batman vs Superman, we are going to see the Superman that we know from the comics and from the earlier films. And here we are at the cinema. Man of Steel, followed by Batman vs Superman. Hi, I'm a movie geek and I'm continuing the Batman vs Superman uh, review um, in a different format. Uh, it should have been a return home uh, in the car, me talking to you uh, about my views, but due to some problems that arose, I've had to do it this way. Uh, so, what did I think of Batman vs Superman? Hey, this is the Movie Geek, and first of all, the format for this is a little bit different to what you've just seen. Um, due to some problems, I wasn't able to um, share my thoughts on the journey home. Um, but in future ones, that, that will happen. So, Batman vs Superman. What did I think? Now, I went into Batman vs Superman after just seeing Man of Steel and I think this helped due to the fact that you have to take a lot over from that film to know what's going on in Batman vs Superman. You get the first, the opening sequence is the ending of Man of Steel but from Bruce Wayne's point of view you could see the destruction of Metropolis happening but you could also tell which part of Man of Steel it was so if you saw a jet flying into a building you knew which part of Man of Steel that was and I, I felt that that was done really really well um, let's talk about Batman A lot of people uh, had problems with Ben Affleck taking on Bruce Wayne and Batman. I felt that he succeeded perfectly. He portrayed a aloof billionaire uh, perfectly and he turned it on without any problems. The portrayal of Superman was done very well again. Um, but this time we got to see him save people. Uh, we got a nice set of uh, montages where he was saving people from floods and uh, different different natural disasters. Um, and I found that they did it very very well. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of this. Um, because that's who Superman is, he saves people. Um, I like where they went with the problems arising by his interference. So you've got Lois Lane um, interviewing someone and it turns out it's a trap to frame Superman. But it, it, it kind of works because it makes it look like Superman We'll save everyone, or anyone, but when it comes to Lois, she comes first. And I liked how they played that. Even in the final battle, he has to stop to save her. And it is it's kind of like a crutch where she is holding him back. He cannot be the world saviour because he has to constantly look after her. I don't know if that's a, a character thing, but I, mm, it's a good plot device. But Batman's, uh, Batman's mental state seems to be uh, a little bit, well, he's crazy. He keeps having mental dreams where he's either being attacked by a monster or He's in a futuristic wasteland that was probably Gotham. 
under the dictatorship of Superman. I I did enjoy it. There was something about it that seemed to be lacking. Now I don't know if this is due to the way the trailer was and how much it revealed and I could see that being the problem but there was something missing um, maybe maybe they tried to cram too much in I don't know I do feel that I really enjoyed it and I hope they continue it I don't I, I, I don't want them to I don't want DC to turn around and say oh, we're not getting good reviews here um, let's pull the plug they've, they've still got Wonder Woman to do and they've got um, Suicide Squad that's coming out this year so they're going to have to continue with this universe but yeah there, there just seemed like something was lacking other than that I really really did enjoy it I came out feeling enthused and wanting to see more I, I, I do want to see where they're going with it um, the ending was good and I do like the fact that they they didn't show what happened they, they hinted at what was going to happen I will talk about spoilers um, near the end of the video um, but I'm not going to do it yet because it is only the first day that it's been out so um, but yeah, it was it was good. I, I enjoyed it. I, I found it a very very good follow up to Man of Steel. Um, they seem to have learned their lessons from Man of Steel. So you you had the criticisms which I mentioned before the destruction, um, Superman not really saving anyone. But in this, he goes out of his way to take the threat away from the city he flies it as high as he can they, they keep the fight separated from the city on a deserted island uh, so obviously the filmmakers have learned from the <laughs> complete destruction but then again maybe they haven't learned maybe that was their plan all along but the first film two gods are fighting in the city there is mass destruction second film Superman is going to have learned from his mistakes so he does try and get away from the highly populated areas. The fight between Batman and Superman it was good, it was very good it, um, in my opinion it didn't last long enough it could have gone on a lot longer I like the, I like the threat that Superman posed, he, he just went to Batman and said just hang your cape up don't come out again. I'm here now. I do like that. He he was ju he just you know he's not doing it anymore. <laughs> and then uh, Batman steals the kryptonite from Luther and makes a suit. I mean you get a nice little montage of him working out and building his new suit and his weapon. And it just shows that they they, they planned Batman's character really well. They made him made him a planner, they, they made him think about how to fight and I, like I said before, they succeeded with Batman. I really do like this new Batman, I think he's a very very good follow up to Christian Bale's Batman. He fits the world he's in, so there is this supernatural element, you have Superman coming from the stars, you, you know that they're hinting at further threats from space it just works he is older, he's wiser, or maybe not wiser he's older, he seems weary with it Yeah, he, he seems like, I think he feels like he's not won he's not winning and he sees Superman as a, as, as a threat it's just a threat yeah I, I really liked Batman, he was very very good Superman I felt was sidelined a lot despite it being effectively his sequel a direct follow-up to Man of Steel he seems just to be sidelined which in my opinion he Superman is my favorite character and 
I would have preferred to have seen more of him. But, saying that, it is the introduction of Batman, so it has been given to him to challenge Superman, who I suppose destroyed a city. One of the elements I really liked was Lex Luthor. I I know I haven't read many uh, criticisms of Batman vs Superman, but uh, what I have heard is some people don't like the way he was played. Uh, they saw him as a, a kind of Joker, Riddler type character, but I do think he's a, he's a good Lex Luthor. I feel he did this well. He he was the other side of the coin of Batman, in effect. He saw Superman as a threat, but he wanted what Superman was. He wanted his power, and that is what I got from that. His plan, I don't really know what his plan was, just to kill Superman. But yeah, Lex Luthor, I think he was uh, he was portrayed well. I um, don't know how I feel about him having a bald head because he was shaved going to prison. Yeah, that was a bit odd. The fight sequence, going back to the fight sequence, Batman was very well prepared. He had planned everything out. He weakened Superman using Kryptonite. And it worked very, very well. Uh, Superman had the upper hand, and then he didn't, and he was getting his ass handed to him. But, and I felt more so than he was in the fight against Zod. Batman seemed to have, he was able to beat him properly, whereas it's just too, in Man of Steel, it's just two superpowered beings hitting each other and causing destruction. Batman was beating Superman. And one thing that I've always noticed. <laughs> and I suppose this is spoilers. Oh, I'm going to go into spoilers now. Um, one thing I noticed was during the films and, and, and comic books, I always noticed that uh, both their mothers were called Martha. And I do like the fact that they use this as a point to show the similarity between Clark and Bruce. And I never saw it coming. I, I thought it was very, very well done. Just at the moment when Batman was going to destroy Superman. It was, yeah, it was good. Okay, so let's talk about spoilers. I like the fact that Superman was used as a scapegoat and it brought in this whole question about should he answer to the authority of Earth or can he carry on being a lone superhero. In effect, he's just doing what Batman has done for years. Like Bruce says, they are criminals. They have been criminals for years. So yeah, I, I did I did enjoy that. I, I found the whole uh, Lex Luthor controlling every aspect of the plot. He channeled it and changed it to what he wanted. And the the scene where Superman had turned up to the courthouse was was done really well. I, di I didn't see it coming because it just looked like he Lex Luthor was going to go in there. When the seat was empty, you, you knew and the the uh, jar of urine was on the table. Everyone twigged. It was it was good. I, I like that. I like the fact that Superman has been made to look responsible for the death of a lot of people. Yeah, uh, the addition of kryptonite. I, I always thought if, if I'd have been able to do these videos earlier, I, I always thought, I wonder if kryptonite is going to come from the terraforming machine because when you watch Man of Steel he flies to the terraforming machine and he can't breathe in the smoke so it is forming Krypton like uh, atmosphere around there and it hurts him so I can see why they chose to say that uh, the kryptonite came from that I do like that I, I found it good that because you can you can argue that there is a lot of kryptonite there <laughs> I'm trying to hold off, but I suppose we're going to have to talk about Doomsday. I suppose that's not a spoiler, because uh, it was released in the trailer, which they shouldn't have done. It's, it's a shame that they did that, because it, I, I feel that it would have, you would have seen it coming a mile off, but they didn't have to reveal it too early, like they did. But I didn't think that they'd do what they did. <laughs> I'm mean, trying try to be coy, but didn't think that they would kill Superman off. Now, I always wondered why he wasn't getting his solo film, and now we know. But 
the ending, I suppose, hints that he is coming back. What I did like was, um, I, I, I haven't read the comic, but I know that when he comes back, I'm sure he wears a black suit with a silver S. I liked how the coffin hinted at that at the end. I did like that. I, I, I didn't think that they were going to do it this film. I thought they were going to do it somewhere around Justice League. But I suppose they've got it got it done now. They, they can do new stuff, they can do something else. I find it, I, I find, I, I do like how they're doing it. And like I said before, it's a shame if they do stop based on critic reviews. Because I can see where they're going with it. You, you've, got, you've got Man of Steel which sets up Superman. You have Batman vs Superman which kills Superman off. You then have all the other films coming out. You've got you've got Suicide Squad. You also have Wonder Woman that's coming out which is set in the past. It all builds up. Uh, they are sort of retrofitting the DC universe around Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman. Batman vs Superman after I I think that Suicide Squad is going to be set before Batman vs Superman. I don't think they're going to be as linear as the Marvel movies are. The Easter eggs that were dropped. I didn't really like how the Justice League were inserted. You had the scene with uh, Batman or Bruce in his, his in the Batcave, and then no real reason the Flash appeared. That works better than the others. <laughs> I could have done without the addition of one Norman watching a couple of videos of some meta humans. I, I, I feel like it was shoehorned in. They didn't need it, to be honest. They, they didn't need it at all. I think they should have just kept it as Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and maybe have the Flash come, because I, I did like what he said. Oh, am I too early? Yeah, you are. <laughs> too early. And also, I, I, I think I think it's because I've been spoiled by the Flash TV show. I'm not really looking forward to that Flash. <laughs> I do like the fact that Luther has learned everything he can from the ship and that he knows what's coming and this has got to be Darkseid and Apocalypse. It has to be. He knows now that Superman's dead, they're on the way and this is what Justice League is going to be about. It It worked. There are a few flaws, but I don't think they're enough to cancel a movie universe or reboot it. But no, I I hope that it continues and I can't wait for Justice League. I, I really can't wait for Wonder Woman. I, I found that her character it wasn't in as much as I thought it would be, but when she was there I wanted to see more. I thought she was good and I did like the the photograph, it was very good and the music for Wonder Woman it was it was really well placed and well written. The ending should we talk about the ending? Bloody Lois Lane getting trapped, he needs to be saved. Superman knew what was coming, he had the kryptonite he forced his way through it like his father said in Man of Steel keep pushing yourself, pushed himself, he was able to fly into Doomsday, stab Doomsday with the Kryptonite Spear, but at the same time the Impaled on one of Doomsday's claws. And yeah, like I said, I, I didn't think that they'd do it at this point, but they did. And no way he's dead for good, because the soil starts to float, as, as it does when he starts to fly. But yeah. They did it, and I commend them for that. I think it. I think it was good. So, and what do you think? You tell me in the comment section below, and I will try and respond as much as I can. I hope you enjoyed this. The next film I'll be doing, I'm not too sure. I'll post it on my blog. Have I got a blog? I don't know. I'll leave it in the comment section or something. But yeah, I will be doing this from now on. But it won't be like this is. Uh, it, it, that the plan was to do it in the car, to drive to the cinema, watch the film, come home. Uh, on the way to the cinema, talk about what my thoughts and views are of the film I'm going to see, and then seeing if, on the way home, seeing if they pan out or they panned out. 
If not, I might do this more because I thought it would be harder than it was, but I seem to have <laughs> done it quite well. So thanks for listening. I'm the Movie Geek. Leave me a message. I will see you next time. Thank you very much.